So welcome back to another video. Um, so as you can tell by the title, um, there's not going to be a vlog 7 tomorrow being Wednesday at 5pm. But there's a very good reason why, it's a positive reason why. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys up to speed and explain to you guys a conversation that I had with the company that I work for, Don Watson, um, early this morning. Roll the intro. So, I should start by explaining that since I started doing these vlogs, I was never really worried about, if you guys go back through all my videos, everything up until vlog one um, was all just shots of the truck going down the road, like external camera stuff, me not interacting with the camera, things like that. Obviously that changed when I started doing some shorts with voiceovers and then people started reacting well to them and asking for more content so then so the channel and me as a content creator it evolved the channel and I evolved into vlogging and interacting with you guys um, putting myself out there putting my family out there since I put up that first vlog I've kind of not been sure about how Watson's was going was going to react to it whether or not they were going to react to it you wish to start a break. Whether or not they were going to react to it positively or negatively and things like that. But me being the fight or flight kind of person that I am, I thought, all right, I'm putting myself out there. I'm putting the trucks in my videos. I thought for sure that I was skate. I was putting my job on the line, and I thought I thought for sure I was putting my job on the line. But I kind of that thought didn't stop me from doing it because I, everything I do is for my wife and kid. The mindset that I was in starting these, starting the vlogs on this channel was kind of like I, I'm going to ride this, I'm going to ride this vlogging stuff till the wheels fall off at this company, and I'm just going to keep running through companies. <laughs> and when the, when they tell me to jump on my bike, I'm going to keep running through companies till the wheels fall off, and until we get the channel to a place that I can buy a truck, and then it'll be home free from there. So. Um, this morning, I was in the office because um, obviously my wife is pregnant and she's due in June, so I'm taking six weeks off then. So I was in the office filling out leave forms and kind of, well, the manager that I was talking to, he kind of walked over to one of our big boss's offices and then waved me in and I thought, ah, here we go, they're going to tell me to jump on my bike. I went into the big, I went into the boss's office and, well, turns out, so it turns out, that kind of thinking, that kind of train of thought and thinking that I had of thinking that I was putting myself on thin ice with the company um, by putting content out there, using the trucks and loads, unloads, driving, that kind of thing. That thinking turned out to be completely uncalled for. Because no one had kind of pulled me aside and talked to me about the YouTube channel um, up until today, um, that kind of lack of communication kind of caused me to overthink what was really going on. So what was really going on, so I'll start from the conversation, right? So I got pulled into the office. Um, I got pulled into the office and I knew I was going in there to talk, talk about the channel. And I thought, and I thought I was going in there to end up going home and looking for a new job. That's what I thought going in there. But the first thing, <laughs> but, the first, but the first thing my boss said to me was, um, you're not in trouble and I thought oh, and then I, and I said I feel like I'm in trouble <laughs> so um, so he kind of he kind of just we kind of just sat there and it was a good conversation he said this is a learning curve for both of us and so and which 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 is right um, but it's not a bad thing what I'm doing what had happened was a couple of drivers from our company um, had called about me filming in the depots and a couple of customers of the company people that we moved freight for had called as well about me filming on their premises the companies from what I was told weren't weren't angry about it the two companies that called um, they they weren't mad about it so I kind of dodged the bullet there and two drivers had called and just kind of expressed their that they were uncomfortable with me filming in depots. And all that's completely fine. Like, I know that, 
I know that waving a camera around, uh, even though it's normal in the age that we live in, I, st I still know that there's people that don't like it and they have every right not to like it. And if they if they want to complain about it, they can complain about it. That's fine. Like people can do whatever they want. I'm not out here to stop people doing what they want. So this obviously caused my channel to hit the desk of my bosses. And the conversation that we had was basically, we're okay with you doing this. Um, they don't see it as a bad thing. It's a positive thing for people that aren't in the industry, that want to get a look into the industry, for people that want to get in the industry, all that kind of stuff that I talked to you guys about in the comments and on the videos. But I was given a list of compromises that I kind of have to stick to, and which I'm happy to stick to, right? And I'll get into the list shortly. But, like I've said before, I, I enjoy working for this company, and knowing that I was putting, or thinking that I was putting my job on the line by being a content creator, I was actually dreading the fact of leaving here because the thought of going to another mob and driving trucks for whoever I would end up driving trucks for was kind of daunting to me. So number one on the list was no filming on customer sites. That's obviously common sense and I wasn't thinking about that in all the previous vlogs so that's coming to a stop um, that means that I won't be able to pick up a camera to record myself reversing onto docks I won't be able to show you guys um, kinda like in vlog 6 I think it was I, I was walking around, the, I, had the, I was reversing onto the dock I showed you guys all the double up bars, things like that that has to come to a stop um, but that's all right like there's there's still content I can replace that content with and obviously anyone that watches this and then watches vlogs that come out after this you know why I'm not showing inside um, customer gates um, so that's stopping but number two on the list was not filming in any of our depots um, that again I'm fine with I don't really get much content in the depots anyway. But that obviously means that I won't be able to show you guys um, driving into the yard on Sundays, uh, looking for my trailers, fueling up, things like that. There's plenty of content to film out on the road. Number three on the list was one that I was kind of confused by, but um, not talking to the camera while I'm driving. So usually, right, so usually if I'm talking to you guys while I'm driving, I've either got the head strap on, or I've got it attached to my window there, or it's on the windscreen, things like that. So this is kind of a funny one. It's okay to have the camera set up filming, but me interacting with it is, um, is kind of a no-go because, and I haven't seen the case studies yet, but I was informed of a couple case studies that have come out that talking to cameras uh, even though talking on a cell phone, um, even though talking on a hands-free device is legal, it's a no-go for talking to cameras while driving. For obvious reasons, right? It, it could take my focus off the road. It um, And basically, if I was to crash and hurt somebody while I was talking to a camera, whether or not it was in my hands, that that would throw the book at me. Um, they would probably throw the book at me in a court of law. So um, that, that one I'm completely fine with. All I'm going to do from now on is when I'm going down the road, um, and I've got the camera on and I'm trying to explain stuff to you guys, it'll all be voiceovers. So, which is like, that's easy. That's, that's such an easy thing to do. All that is is me plugging my headphones into my phone and voiceovering it and, and attaching a voiceover to the footage as I'm editing it. So that's 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 piss easy. Number four was obviously obviously I put footage out there being the being an idiot. Yeah, not thinking about it. I've put footage out there of me and my thongs or my jandals or my pluggers, whatever you want to call them, and not in hivers. That's coming to a stop. So whenever you <laughs> so whenever you see me now, um, I'll have full PPE on, which is fair. I should have had it on anyway, I'm just, you know, I'm a truck driver, what can I say? Um, uh, fifth, was there a fifth one, was there a fifth one? I actually can't remember off the top of my head what else was on this list. Um, I've got it in an email. They put it in an email and they're gonna send it to me. But 
overall, right, obviously the what the what the vlogs look like is going to change. The majority of the footage, so the majority of the footage will be me on the road, me in truck stops now, me in parking bays. Um, there'll be no more customer depots, Don Watson depots, and those are the two kind of main things that are going to change the look of the channel. But this is a positive, right? Because now it challenges me. Now it challenges me to get more content and to pump out more content to replace the content that I would get in those two different situations, right? So I can almost definitely tell you guys that food reviews are going to come into the channel. And I think, and I think as well, so I'll still have POV shots of, I'll still have POV shots of me driving down the road. I'll still have the camera set up on the far corner, on the passenger side of the truck, looking at me in the cab, things like that. None of that will change. So all my B-reels um, won't change. It's just, I think the channel will involve more talking, more stuff in my face with food, and just more me being creative with getting content while I'm out on the road. Because they told me, while I'm out on the road by myself, doing my job, boss's exact words were go as hard as you want. The conversation that we had was productive more than anything. Now that I know my boundaries, because I was kind of operating without boundaries in different places. But what this does mean, unfortunately, is that vlog seven that was gonna come out, like I said, tomorrow night, that has to be scrapped um, completely. So I've, I've, that video is long gone. I'd already finished editing it. I'd put all the um, intros, outros in it, everything, and it was gonna come, it was set to come out. That's now been deleted because if I was to release it after we we just finished having that conversation, it, it, like I'd be a bit of a dickhead. Hey, um, I'm loading up a B double here in Melbourne in, Tr in Truganina, Truganina, however you say it, and I'm going straight home to Brisbane. Actually, in a different truck. I'm in another big cab, it's a nicer big cab than mine. It's got all pretty lights and it's got a sun visor and everything. Um, Cause my truck decided that it wanted to get stuck in gear. Um, basically, it wanted to get stuck in gear when I was coming into Melbourne last night. I basically had to roll it into the depot, pull all the brakes on and then kill the truck while it was still trying to move with the brakes on. I'm driving another bloke's big cab up to Sydney to give it back to him and I'm going to jump in a manual when I get to Sydney and then haul ass to Brisbane. And obviously you guys will see the changes in the content straight away because uh, I'm not filming inside the depots and I'm not fil I'm actually loading at the moment and I'm not filming any of the customers um, property so tomorrow sometime. I will stop up the road somewhere and do a food review and that'll be in the next vlog. Until then, um, I hope you guys, the guy, the people that follow, every, the people that watch everything we do, that have subscribed and follow us, I hope you, I hope you feel like this is a positive thing as much as I do because like, to me, having the backing of the mob that I work for from my bosses and knowing my boundaries now, now I can go full steam ahead with this content stuff and not be nervous or stressed that I'm gonna get myself into hot water because of it. But once I'm on the road, I'll start filming. I'll do, my, I'll pull over into truck stops and everything now when I wanna talk to the camera or I'll, or I'll put the camera up somewhere and do voiceovers and things like that. But be prepared for more POV shots, more time lapses, more truck stop food reviews like this that's not a bad thing at all and i and i'm really happy that we had that that i had that conversation with my bosses so like always thank you guys for your support thank you guys for all your interaction with the channel the likes the comments the subscriptions it all means heaps to us the channel is actually doing really well on the algorithm like i think we've got even though we've we only we're still just over three thousand subscribers the impressions that the channel have made um, which is like people seeing our videos in their suggested videos which is how I know that a lot of you found our channel um, so the impressions that the channel is, is making is insane and that's because of all the interaction that you guys um, are giving us we've got somewhere like last time I looked there's like two million impressions 
and we like that's insane for for a new channel like ours to be to be able to have that kind of reach and um to be on people's screens like that it's literally all thanks to you guys um so in the next vlog i'm going to make the next vlog a long one because i still have i still have um there were things in the last video that i explained about the channel and where the channel's going that i have to now put into this next channel uh, sorry that now that i have to put into this next vlog so that'll all be in there there'll be a food review in there like i've said a million times and um yeah so if you guys enjoy your week um i'm now enjoying mine a lot more because i'm because <laughs> i'm not as stressed out um yeah so onwards and upwards from here i'll see you guys in vlog 7 which will come out at 5 p.m friday night when i get home